Hi there, everyone. I'm here today with Miriam Hughes. Miriam is a sponsor, in fact, a longtime sponsor of the Artscape program and also an artist. Uh, public art exhibits, I think, have always been really important. I think that that's exposed a whole variety of people in the community and outside of the community, our tourists. And even when I go to other towns, I mean, I, I really i am drawn to the public art and I'm drawn to the kind of the spirit of the community by what they exhibit in their public art. And um, I think it's important for young kids, for people to know that art is accessible. It's not just something you go to a gallery for. It's not just something that, you know, a certain elite can can see. Um, art is for everybody. And, and the older I've gotten, the more I've realized how there's so many of us are artists. And all we need is a little bit of encouragement. So when you're walking down the street and you see some of this work and you think, I hate it when people say, oh, I can do that. But you still do get inspired by um, seeing other art. And maybe you can do that. In fact, I have found, you know, a lot of times you can actually do that and better. <laughs> so, so I've been in this area for about 10 years. And I moved here with the intention of being a dog trainer, which was sort of what I did. My background is a medical illustrator that really relates to dog training. And um, what I've what I found in the 10 years is how much I've grown as an artist. And I had to work through sort of a period of feeling like I wasn't serious enough because my art is kind of whimsical and colorful and affordable. <laughs> um, and one of the things that I've, over the years that I've done as an artist, particularly since I started teaching, and I started teaching about seven years ago, is I feel like I've grown so much and I've allowed myself so much more freedom to experiment with my art and to, to not take myself seriously on one hand I take my I take the process of being an artist seriously and I take the learning and the growth seriously and I take developing your own style seriously because as an instructor I find a lot of people want to copy other people to learn and I encourage them to yes be influenced but, but really push through to your own style. So I work in watercolor sometimes acrylic and watercolor collage. This is a watercolor gouache resist piece it's not finished yet but it's a process I teach. And this is another piece. I and mean, so you can see my style is a little bit varied. And I teach a lot of workshops and in my workshops, mostly watercolor. Um, I try to get people to like learn how to see, but don't think about it. That makes sense. And to really just sort of enjoy the process. I never thought at this point in my life that I'd be such a prolific and busy artist. And I think a lot of it is because I've, I've been, been supported by the community. It's definitely one of the, one of the reasons, um, both by teaching and workshops and getting grants from the Arts Council, um, being an artscape artist. Um, I've done several of the bears in Andersonville. I no longer worry about how good I am. I just am. And I let it happen. And, um, and that's a hard thing to do. It's hard to let that go, to let that ego part of you go and just sort of keep on doing. Don't compare. Realize that everybody else has their own style. And there's an audience for you, but that doesn't even matter anymore. The process is so important. And the joy that this is the, for me, the joy that I find um, in teaching and seeing other artists emerge, it kind of helps my art keep going. My name is Phyllis Vaughn. I moved to Hendersonville two years ago from Atlanta, Georgia. I was in Las Cruces, New Mexico when I found out I was chosen. <laughs> and it was great. My jobs uh, <laughs> with the committee was handing out applications to some of the artists on Art on Main. And I really enjoyed that. They were so welcoming and excited and that was fun. So I got to know some people that way. Right now I'm doing fun things with sayings and little images and uh, seeing where that takes me. I made a long career down in Atlanta with um, a number of my girlfriends and we would set up at the Atlanta Gift Market and um, in a section called Handcrafted Design. Had to be made in America or Canada and we would take orders and we would just sell fun handcrafted handmade art pieces and starting back in the 90s I was doing things with sayings and now sayings are everywhere. Yeah. I like to think I started it but I've been doing it a long time and back around uh, 
40 years ago, I went to Paris to the flea markets there and I started to collect little beads, little pieces of lace. I didn't have a lot of money and I loved all the little stuff and came back and started making little evening bags all with old velvets and old crazy quilts and old uh, buttons and lace and metallics and um, sold them to a lot of shops in Atlanta, Mooncake being, if anybody knows Atlanta, um, with these little creations. And I called my business Vintage Originals. And um, I did art dolls for years, sold to hundreds of shops all over the country. Um, v originals and uh, they all had fun sayings. I did the girlfriend things way before anyone did girlfriend things. <laughs>